work in progress with uh, Daniel Fancy and John Oles concerning the classification of triple planes with both uh, geometric continuous and irregularity vanishing. Well, this is uh, work in progress in the sense that uh, here I, in this table, I will explain later, I summarized the classification result, but uh, for some cases we are not still able to say something about the existence. So I will explain what are the difficulties and uh, what are the methods involved. Right? So, introduction. We work over C, and want to classify objects like triple planes this way, general triple planes. general triple covers, so in particular they are not Galois. X is moved. And the PG of X equal to X equals zero. So of course this is quite classical topics and some results have been obtained in the past by classical algebraic geometry, but by using different methods. We use a method with unified previous treatments and allows us to obtain new results. And uh, this method is a combination of vector bundle techniques and adjunction theory technique. So let me explain. So what happens in this case? Anyway, whenever you have a triple cover, a general triple cover, this is works in general, but let's consider just the case of P2, the branching curve will be as a curve with just a finite number of cusps as singularities. Let's call this B. One, and so that the pension curve will have uh, a finite number of ordinary cusps as only singularities. When it's a smooth point of the branching curve, the ramification is general, two points. And the cusps are the only points in which there is total ramification. This is well known. So whenever we have this, we can consider the push forward of the we have I mean an exact sequence in this way. This is a rank two vector bundle. on P2, and by using the trace map, we see that this sequence is actually splitting. So we have, uh, I will call this the Schirnhausen model. Okay. By, I mean, this reminds us of the classical Schirnhausen transformation from, to get rid of the quadratic term in a cubic equation. And um, this method was introduced by, this method of studying this uh, Schirnhausen module was introduced by Eric Miranda in the 80s. And so actually, this module allows us to reconstruct the triple cover. In fact, we have, by using the trace map, you see the sequence is splitting. So we have this. Moreover, we have this. The push forward of omega x is just omega y plus f dual this one and uh, the push forward omega x square is just the symmetric product of e dual times omega y square okay from this okay so theorem Miranda says essentially that this E determines the triple cover. Any triple cover. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, what happened? It's a rank three. It's a rank three one. No, rank two. There's two of E is rank three. Ah, this one's yes. It's not. 
This works. Yeah. E is the rack 2 as 2 is the rack 3. Mm -hmm. Any triple color of this type is determined by a locally free rank 2 on y module. This is in general. It's not necessary that y is p2. This is a general theorem. Yes, 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 of course, I mean flat. Yes. Cover for me is flat. But I can have rank 2 of y module and the generic section S in H0 of y S3 E dual tensor that of E and conversely. Moreover, if, if y is moved and this bundle is globally generated, then it's a it's a generic section. a triple cover pi from x to y with x smooth. Well, now this is general theory. Let's apply this to the case of triple planes. Anyway, we can. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, so S S acts as a multiplication map from S to a B to E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see also. Actually, what happens is that this X is embedded in the projective bundle defined by this. Okay. Okay. As a trisection. This is a trisection. Okay. Geometrically, this is a trisection of this uh, of the bundle. This is the geometric counterpart, but anyway, the algebraic. Of course, this is, this is more general because Kazmati and Ekedal, for instance, extended this just to, I mean, instead of smooth varieties, just goals and varieties. So you can rephrase this. Some okay. technical adjustment. But so. So S, uh, X is contained in pi P e of E or B of E dual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which one? Well, S is here. In R, uh, yeah, it's that, uh, depends on. This is just the same. This means that the does S. If you call E, if for you E is okay, so S3 of E dual tensor. That yes, this means that uh, E S define okay the, the zero locus of S that would be the or X is instead in uh, O of uh, yes. Uh, it depends if you choose uh, one of the got and the Anyway, 3 minus uh, that E fibers. Yes, no. Okay, something like this. Uh, just, uh, okay, he said uh, an element in this linear system, in this projective bundle. And uh, just the restriction to the fibers gives the. Okay. You have this. This is a P1 bundle. This is just the protection of this. And uh, I mean, this is just. Where, where is the section? Is it obvious? Eh? Yeah. Where do you see from the double cover? Sorry? From the triple cover. You say there is a section. No, no, it's not obvious. The section does not exist, there is no triple cover. Yeah, but so you have a cover. Well, how do you get the section? Uh, there is uh, Miranda worked out this. Yes, it's you can. Obvious. And no, I mean, uh, not completely obvious. We must do some calculation. He did it algebraically, just looking at the algebra of the. He just looked at the, at the extension of. The, I mean, you have. He looked at this map, and then algebraically record local working before locally and then globally obtain the existence of this section. But there is some work to do. But anyway, this is the result.
You can find it in the Miranda paper on calculation are written down in details. So anyway, in this case, you can recover. OK. Now, suppose that you have a triple plane. Triple plane for me is this one. Okay, just uh, okay. Let me see this. If I have a triple plane in this case, in this case, the curve called lattice curve B, the branch curve, the branching curve. <coughs> then the degree of B. is given by, OK, sorry, right now, and define D is minus C1 of E and H C2 of E. Then the degree of B is 2B, and the number of cusps is 3H. This follows again from calculation in Miranda's paper. This is not difficult to see. So, numerical invariance. I have no time to explain the details, but uh, working with these uh, properties and uh, playing with intersectional numbers and so on, you see that uh, if you have a triple cover of P2, the possibilities for B, H, K square, and G of H, this is the 6 of genus. For me, H is just uh, the linear system which gives us the triple cover. The 6 of genus, if you want to call it. So the possibilities are just this. So we have uh, a finite number of possibilities, a finite number of possibilities, and uh, the reality, of course, this is uh, just numerical possibilities. Now we must prove the existence, and this. I mean, and the, philo the philosophy is that uh, as far as we go down, the things become more and more difficult. At a certain point, we have to stop because we don't know to go on, but okay, this is another story I will explain. So, first is this case. When the bundle is decomposable, everything is clear. When the bundle is decomposable, the position in cases 1, 2, 3, the bundle is decomposable. More precisely, E, E all minus 1 plus all minus 1 in case 1, E, E all minus 1 plus all minus 2 in case 2, and E, E all minus 2 plus all minus 2 in case 3. Ah, of course, sorry, I, I, I said this. I'm just looking. It is important that the condition G equal to equal zero is the condition that uh, gives five number of families. Otherwise, of course. But this condition implies that the family there is a bound. So okay, this is the case. This is the case. The case in which the bundle is decomposable. Of course, this is. I mean, we can give a description of this. Case one. Just uh, could be scrolled. And the map pi projection from a line. And in this case, of course, could be scroll is P1 cross P it's F1 at bend P4, and this uh, K squared is 8, 
and the sexual genus is zero, of course, and the, the map is branched in a detecuspidal portic. This is what you want. In this case, the branched locus is detecuspidal portic. Case two, this is easy as well. OK, this is just uh, the cubic surface. Uh, yes, if you want. Uh, OK, yeah, let's do this. Cubic portic. And pi, uh, pi, yes. In, this is the go up in a point of the cubic core surface, and this is the map. OK, let's me it in this way. Projection from, no, I'm just saying that, uh, no, no, it's OK. It's uh, for an exterior point. Projection from a point, p, not p. In this case, case square equal three. That's so. Case three. Okay, let me. I cannot give the detail. In this case, with the blow up, is the blow up of P two in the point uh, in points P in ten points is the blow up of two in ten points, and the map giving and the net giving the triple cover is just. 4L minus twice at 0 minus AI 1 to 9, where L is the class of the line. You can check that this is a system of set into section 3 in this blow up, and uh, the dimension is the correct one, so this is. I'm going up P, P2 in 10 points, so it's minus 1. This is. OK, this is very easy. And this can be checked by a junction. And by using, for instance, you can use the fact that uh, by general results, the ramification divisor is very ample. This is a, was proven by Kasnati and Ekeda, also Ein, several people know this. The, you know this. This ramification divisor is very ample, so you can use the ramification divisor playing a junction with the ramification divisor. And uh, when this bundle, in this easy case, a junction terminates after two steps or something like this, so you obtain immediately the solution. I think that. Uh, Many people in the, now, in the audience know these things better than I know. So anyway, what happens in the, in the next cases? In the next cases, things are more complicated because the bundle is stable, so in the composable. So we need the resolution. OK, so we have to work out the resolution. And the result is that the resolution is very particular. So, proposition, in the remaining cases, E is stable, in particular in the composable. So we want to know the minimal resolution, the minimal free resolution. But the fact is that we have this invariance here. So we know a lot about, and by using this, uh, OK, I, I delayed it. But anyway, this invariance and the formulas I wrote before allow us to compute the cohomology of E and the some twist of E for some twist. And so we can use Bayesian. We can use Bayesian theorem and so on, and we can obtain the free resolution. And the free resolution is the following. I'm sorry, I'm not time for the details, but uh, otherwise I cannot state the results. The free resolution of E is the following. 0 O 1 minus B, B minus 4, O 2 minus B, B minus 2, E, 0. And uh, you know, so this is given by a matrix b minus 4 times b minus 2 of linear forms. This is a Steiner bundle. And Steiner bundles are widely studied. So in some cases, we can exploit this study to obtain factor classification. 
let me explain. OK, so in the next part, I will explain how to study this bundle. I can tell you that we have complete classification until here. Until here, we have complete, and also, I always, until here. We have complete classification. In this case, it's still, uh, we still don't know. OK. Sorry? Uh, this is <laughs> all the surfaces we obtained are rational, but with an exception in this case, in which we have an Enrique surface, which is a right congruence. But I will explain this. We hope to obtain something with positive, with Codera dimension, with general type, for instance. But this, it, it is very difficult because this bundle appears to be very, very special. And we are not able to find a suitable bundle nor to exclude its existence. So this is, uh, for instance, if this case exists, they are sure of general type because uh, A squared is positive. Uh, we can prove that these are minimal of general type if they exist. What we is there no any example of general type which can be considered I don't know any example of several general type with G equal to equal zero and this invariants that have a triple coder projection over P2. I, I look at it in the le literature, but I would, I've not been able to find such a triple coder. Maybe it exists, but still I don't have an example. It would be nice to find one. It would be nice to find one. So anyway, look at this resolution. So now let's twist this by O. P2, P minus 2, and set. Of course, your goal will be the complete classification, but, uh, but, I don't know. And set, EB, a B of B minus 2. Then we obtain, <coughs> then we obtain this. The usual final bundle. Let's call this V. And so existence of X implies that this number is different from zero. And uh, the P genes of X. If you do a computation, this is H0 omega x2. This is just H0 of S2 and P of minus 2. So if you compute this, you can understand the Codera dimension. So the existence of this implies that you must find, first of all, you must find a section here. Then after you find the section, you must verify that this section defines a smooth surface. This is smooth. If the bundle is globally generated, and this is different from Z, so if the bundle is globally generated, the general section defines a smooth surface, OK? But uh, at the certain point, the bundle is not globally generated anymore. <laughs> at this point, it becomes not globally generated. And so, OK, what to do? Well, uh, the best case is to consider we have this PAP. H0 or PB is just uh, B minus 2. Uh, B minus 2 or this? Yes, B minus 2. So we have two maps. We have a map that I call P, 
which you got is just the projection of a P2, and then you have the other map, which you got in P3 minus 3, which is just O1, the map given by O1. Let me call this Q. Okay. It's not difficult to see that this gives a map. Sometimes I will forget the duals, but this is true. Because it's, yes, this is just, uh, yes, uh, yeah, of course, you want to write. This is just P, H, Z, you know, all one. Here that we have, if I forget the dual, sorry, and so we have Q upper star of O, P, B minus 3 of 1, this is just O, P, O, 1, P for me will be, and uh, P over star, this is just U square star, O, P, O, 1 is E, B, and P over star, of OP of L is just the symmetric product SL of OB. Okay? And so we can see that this space H0 of P and B and uh, S3 and B of 6 minus B. This is just isomorphic to H0 of this P B minus 3, yes, dual anyway, or oh, P B minus 3, okay, it is dual in the time, 3 times cool over star, P upper star of OP2, 6 minus P. This is just projection formula. <coughs> so we must study this object. OK. We must understand the shift. This is a current shift. Cool over star, P upper star, or P2, 6 minus P. This shift, it is supported. This is a torsion shift. Of course, it's a torsion shift, and it is supported on the image of this map. is the same thing of calculating this. in some uh, case. For instance, case 4. In this case, V equal 5, GH equal 3. You have this, P2, P1, 
and the resolution is this. And we must study H0 of P2, 2 lower star, So in this case, PA5, in this case, is a complete intersection. It's easy to see that PA5 is a complete intersection of this product. It's a complete intersection of type minus one, of type, um, yes, the resolution of PA5 is this one. Just, I say, it's not a complete intersection, it's just uh, a device for, of B degree minus 1 minus 1 inside here. It's, eh? it's a flag bar vertex. Yeah, this is in fact is the incidence corresponding of the flag variety here. This is just a line, I mean, this is just a P2 dual, in fact, this is, <laughs> this is two. And this is just uh, the flag variety associated with this thing. So, exactly, this comes from this diagram. This exactly this flag variety of type minus one minus one. Oh, so flag variety intersection of a mm. hypersurface of by degree minus one one in uh, in this space. So now we can compute everything. Okay, let's tensor this by tensor this by O P2 and P2 one zero and obtain this. will be done in detail. Okay. Now apply cool over star. When you apply cool over star, what happens is that uh, it's very easy to see that uh, because of this map, RK cool over star of uh, OP2 cross P2 of AB this is just HK of uh, OP2 of A times OP2 of B. This is just, uh, if you want, projection form or whatever. So you have this. OK, yeah, yeah. using this now, we obtain that uh, O1 cool over star OP2 times Two of zero minus one. This is just H one of P two times of P two of minus one. But this is zero, so this is the zero shift. So cool over star, cool star, a cool over star, cool over star, cool over star, zero. So we obtain. Of course, in correspondence, 
with the section of this shift. OK, so, um, OK, C2 of this shift is 13. So, a general section. vanishes in 13 points. Since C1 of TP2 of 2 equals 7, we have, uh, we have this exact sequence. C1 is 7. So by Euler, here we have this. Okay, this comes from the Euler sequence. So for a generic choice, that this system of P2 of 4 tensor P of Z is two-dimensional. This is a net. This is a net of quartics. This, this, this zero-dimensional subsystem exists. It's, both, it's classically known that there exists such a system, such a point. So if you find the 12 points in the plane, which uh, 13 points in the plane, which impose just 12 conditional quartics, this is a net. What is the degree of this net? 4 times 4 is 16, minus 13 is 3. And this is the net which gives the triple color. OK? So in this case, in this case, x 
is just the blue one in Z on P2, and uh, H, the net which gives the total copy, just for L minus sum from 1 to T of T of ego net. The dimension is 2, so D is more than P2. Kx squared is 9 minus 15 is minus 4, and the sectional genus is 3 because quartz blank curves. And this is this case. Minus 3. Yes. I have no, no time to explain all the other cases. So, I mean, this is just the easiest case. The easiest case. This was uh, known by Duval, for instance, that the existence of this, uh, of course, by a completely different method. This is the first time that this method applied to this. So, the method is completely, it's, I mean, this method is completely new, but uh, the existence of this uh, sub zero dimensional subscheme of the length 13 imposing just 12 conditions was classically known. OK, for lack of time, let me focus now to the last case we are able to treat, which is this one. In this case, there is a lot of beautiful geometry. I don't know if I have the time to explain all the geometry involved, involved in this construction. Uh, how many? How much time do I have? Ten minutes? Yeah. Ten, five? Yeah. So, in this case, case seven. In another case, we can treat similarly. I have no time to explain this, but let me focus on this. So in this case, the standard bundle is this one. And now, yes, now we have this. Assume that this case exists. So we have this x in P A to map the map over P2 and the map over P5. OK, now let's consider this map. This is P and this is Q. When you consider a map Q respect to x, I can compute. This is just P of Kx plus H from x to p5. I can check that for my restriction of the invariance, if I restrict this map to the x, to the section, I can just the first junction map with respect to h, where h is the net giving the little cover. h is p upper star of l with respect to x. l is plus of a line. We had just uh, one class of surface in each case. I proved this for one, this, 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 also this. I had no time to prove this, but even in this case, there's just one class of surface, I really guess. In this case, the situation is radically different. Before we have uh, different isomorphism type, yes, different isomorphism type of surfaces, and this depends on the number of jumping lines on the vector bundle. Now, this is strictly related to the number of jump, jumping lines of the bundle. In fact, we have this. OK, let me just say briefly. In this case, if you take the bundle and restrict it to the line, you have three possible, three possible splittings. The first split is this. This is general. The second splitting is this. This for a cool a cap. And the third case is this. 
And this, uh, for a finite number of lines, Now, uh, okay, I have no time. Uh, in this case, okay, so what really is important for the description of this case is this number of lines, the number of extremal jumping lines. graver mobile theorem says that the general splitting of the bundle over a line is this one. But there are, I mean, there is a curve of lines in which the splitting is one, and in this case, and there is a finite number of lines in which the splitting is this one, O plus O4. It's very unbalanced splitting. And in this case, this number of lines, alpha 1, can be from 0 to 7, or alpha 1 is infinity. This is the so-called Schwarzenberger bundle. 0 is the general bundle. Now, we, let me just take the result, because I have no time. result is that x exists if and only if alpha 1 is between 1 and 7. So for the general bundle, there is no surface in this case. If there is no extremal jumping line, there is no surface. There is no triple cover in this case. So the general, in, the general bundle in this case is not good. And the alpha 1 is really infinite is not good as well. This is a Schwarzenberger bundle. It's a very particular bundle, but this is not good in this case. In this case, the in this, for, for alpha 1 equal 0, there are no section in, that vector, in the vector space of section. For alpha 1 equal infinity, there are sections, but these sections are very bad. They all give uh, singular surfaces. So they're not good. In all the other cases, the surface exists. It's not. Moreover, alpha 1 is equal to the number of lines of the number of minus one cars contracted by the first junction map. <coughs> Just three minutes an inch. The first adjunction map by general adjunction theory just contracts a finite number of minus one curves. In particular, it con uh, more precisely, it contracts the minus one curve which have intersection one with the other intersection, okay? So uh, they have intersection zero with their joint system. And so in this case, alpha one, the number of uh, extrema jumping lines is exactly the same of the number of chapter of curves contracted by the first adjunction map. And uh, we have example for, from 1 to 7, we have example in this range. For every values, 1, 2, 3, 3, 3 7, we found them by using uh, Macaulay 2. I mean, we guess the matrix of the bundle, and then by using Macaulay 2, we're able to check the smoothness. This is important. And OK, just examples. They are, only, they are all rational, except in the case alpha 1 equals 7, where it is Enriquez. Let's call alpha 1 equals 6, for instance. This is rational. What is x in this case? Geometric construction. Take this linear system. with 10 points of order 4. If the 10 points are general, Alexander showed that uh, the surface corresponding smooth surface of the green 9 in P4. Now, by using the Bart's formula of uh, multiseconds, you can find that this surface contains exactly one six second line.
you project from the six second line and you obtain the double cover, the triple cover. Because the degree of this is nine minus six, three. So in this case, k squared is just k squared of this, which is minus one, minus the number of points that you are going back, which is six. Because you are projecting from a six second line, minus six, minus seven. And uh, the genus is pi, of course, because curves of. And, OK, this is alpha 1 equals 6, alpha 1 equals 7. This corresponds to the so called logarithmic bundle. I have no time, I finished. Bundle. In this case, x is a higher congruence. In other words, x is not really congruence. The adjoint model of x is really congruence. Um, phi cap x plus h of x in P5 is a really congruence. So it's a regress. It can seem also as uh, so the image from the first junction maps is uh, also, you can see it as a uh, mm, surf congruence surface of B degree 3, 7 in the Grossmann. So this is a surface of degree 10 in the Grossmann, which possesses a family of 6, 7, this, means, this 7 here means that we have a family of 7 seconds, 2 planes. By projecting from one of these 7 seconds, 2 planes, the degree is 10, you obtain the triple cover. Again, this is a Enrique surface, so k squared equals 0, minus 7, because you have to blowing up the 7 point, you obtain minus 7. So this is another example here. Uh, here. Minus 7 is, OK, I'm just treating this one. And uh, so far, this is the old example. This is a very nice example, I mean, uh, very classically known. And so far, this is the only example with, uh, of no rational general triple plane that we have. But we suspect that, uh, I don't know, our guess, uh, I finish here, our guess is that uh, we don't have these cases exist. We think that this case should exist. But so far, all the bundles we have tried don't work. And uh, it's very difficult to find sections in this case. In this case, uh, you should find sections. OK, so these cases are completely described. But in this case, uh, in this case, it's very difficult to find bundle with the sections, with the right number of sections. Of course, you can try with the Schwarzenberger bundle, which are very special. But uh, the Schwarzenberger bundle gives always singular surfaces. And uh, we don't know. We, we have no idea which kind of brillimeter watch in the modular space of the right to vector bundle with this invariance we can use to, to construct this surface. Thank you for your attention.